Well, how many of us are aware of this term and what it is used for? Some people among you might know what it means, but unclear how it works. Binary code is the foundation of all digital technology, and understanding it will give you a deeper insight into the world of computers and programming. Hello and welcome to yet another Brainstruck video from The Education Magazine. In this video, we'll look at how exactly binary code works, so take out your pen and paper and let's get started. Binary code is a base two-number system. This means that it uses only two digits, zero and one. Binary code is used to represent data in computers. Every piece of data in a computer, from numbers to letters to images, is stored as a sequence of binary digits. The rightmost digit, zero, represents two is to the power zero, which is one. The next digit, one, represents two is to the power one, which is two. The third digit, zero, represents two is to the power two, which is four. So, the binary number 1010 represents the decimal number 10. Binary code is used in computers to represent data, instructions, and memory addresses. Data is anything a computer needs to store, such as numbers, letters, images, and sounds. Data is stored in binary code on the computer's hard drive, RAM, and other storage devices. Instructions are the commands that tell the computer what to do. Instructions are stored in binary code on the computer's hard drive or RAM. Memory addresses are the locations where data and instructions are stored in the computer's memory. Memory addresses are also stored in binary code. Binary programming is the process of writing programs in binary code. Binary programming is a very difficult task, but it's also very rewarding. If you're interested in learning more about binary programming, there are a few resources that you can check out. There are many books and websites that teach binary programming. You can also find online courses and tutorials on binary programming. Binary code can be read from right to left. The rightmost digit is the least significant bit or LSB and the leftmost digit is the most significant bit or MSB. The LSB represents the smallest power of two and the MSB represents the largest power of two. To convert binary code to decimal, you can use the following steps. Start with the rightmost digit and multiply it by two. Move to the next digit to the left and multiply it by two is to the power two. Move to the left and multiply each digit by a successively larger power of two. Add up the results of all of the multiplications. For example, to convert the binary number 1010 to decimal, you would do the following. The rightmost digit zero is multiplied by two is to the power zero, which is zero. The next digit, 1, is multiplied by 2, is to the power 1, which is 2. The third digit, 0, is multiplied by 2, is to the power 2, which is 0. The fourth digit, 1, is multiplied by 2, is to the power 3, which is 8. Adding up the results of all of the multiplications gives you 10. To convert decimal to binary, you can use the following steps. Divide the decimal number by 2. Keep track of the remainder. Repeat steps one and two until the decimal number is zero. The binary number is the sequence of remainders starting from the bottom up. For example, to convert the decimal number six to binary, you would do as follows. Divide six by two and get a quotient of three and a remainder of zero. Divide three by two and get a quotient of one and a remainder of one. Divide one by two and get a quotient of zero and a remainder of one. So, the binary number equivalent to the decimal number 6 is 110. Binary code is the fundamental language of computers. Its simplicity and elegance enable us to represent and manipulate vast amounts of information in the digital world. Understanding binary opens a gateway to the exciting world of computer science and programming. Thanks for watching. We hope this video was informative. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel to avoid missing out on more informative videos.